fun kicks off at Mountain Brook with live performances, good eats, and even better wine. Yes. A great way to really just cheers to this beautiful weekend ahead. Oh, absolutely. And we are joined with Brian Hicks from Mountain Brook to learn all about what is going down at the vineyard. So what exactly is the Jazz and Wine Fest? Yeah. So this is our second annual jazz festival. And uh, it's a, a jazz festival, which we bring in national acts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also have a local artist, Jamie Wright, that's coming in that's performing. Um, it turned out fabulous last year, and so we wanted to expand it this year. Uh, we've also added a wine dinner, uh, jazz wine dinner uh, Friday, which is the day, and uh, we have one of the national acts that's going to perform at that wine dinner, Gino Rosario. Awesome. Uh, so we, we got an exciting weekend that's planned up for everyone. All right, which lineup or events Oof. are you most excited for? I know that's like probably picking your favorite, favorite child, child, but that, I can't do that to the artist. I, know. I can't do that to the artist. All of so my good. So run them down, run them okay. down for us, if so you will. So we have Jamie Wright, who's opening for us, mm -hmm. and then we have D. Lucas, who's going to perform for us uh, here at the studio. Um, I can't wait for that. Then we have Lynn Roundtree, and mm -hmm. then our headliner this year is Brian Simpson. So, awesome. and again, Friday. Today we have Gino Rosario yeah. who's going to perform. So well, you just kind of ran us uh, through that lineup, but how did you choose and find these artists? Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's kind of one of those things where you kind of want to put a number of different artists from various areas together to try to, you know, blend everyone together and have everyone come together mm -hmm. in that way. But um, you know, it's one of those things where you just you play around with it and see what fits and. I think we got an excellent lineup. You know, there's not a lot of wine and jazz festivals that I've heard of, even here in the upstate. Yeah. So what inspired you guys to kind of put the festival together? Just the need for it? Uh, yeah. So I'm a, I'm a jazz lover. So mm -hmm. um, when I got here, I've been here about five years mm -hmm. um, from the Midwest. And I got here, and there's no jazz. Mm. And if you wanted jazz, you either had to go to Charlotte or you had to go to Atlanta. And so um, I went to this winery and I started looking at the way it looked and I, I thought, well, why not make it a jazz festival? And it started to evolve from there and one thing led to another and we have the Mountain Brook Jazz Festival now. I love that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, That's I awesome. think an important question here is where do people go to get their tickets mm -hmm. if you want to go? You can go on mountainbrookvineyards.com um, and you should see all the information pop up right away as soon as you go awesome. on the website. I got one question for you. All right, now that you've got the festival, I think that the next step for you guys is going to be obviously continuing the festival and then doing a uh, wine and jazz bar. Ooh. What do you think about that? Well, that I'm, I'm open to anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm open to anything. So. Wouldn't that be great, right? Yeah. All righty. <laughs> well, I know we're actually in for a treat because we yeah. are lucky enough to get a preview from D. Lucas, one of this weekend's artists. Can you uh, tell us quickly a little bit about him? Now, D. is out of the Atlanta area. Um, he's been playing for over 20 years, um, and he's all around the country. Awesome. Um, but he, he's one of one of the premier saxophonists uh, in the jazz genre. So uh, we, we're looking forward to, to hearing the show. Awesome. So. All right, D, take it away.
just as a reminder, here's the details for this weekend's Jazz and Wine Fest on your screen. You don't want to miss out. We'll let Dee take us out. And stay tuned to the come. We're continuing the fun with Mountain Brook Vineyards. Here all about tonight's Under the Stars dinner menu and how they're dishing out good food, good wine, and an even better time. We'll be right back.